Hey everyone, in today's episode of How to Kill Sams in DCS, I'm going to show you how to uh, kill an SA-15 a couple of different ways using dumb weapons. So right now I've got three Mark 82 Snake Eye bombs, high drag bombs, loaded on each uh, wing. And in this video what I'll do is walk you through uh, just how to employ these against uh, a Sam. So from an air start, we go to air to ground mode, see the... Uh, Mark 82 snake eyes are already selected there. There's six on the aircraft. High drag, nose tail. Impact spacing, let's use 40 feet. And release pulses. I'll go with three. That'll just release half of my bombs in one pass. All right, so that's set up. Uh, coming down here, I'll get the uh, ECM pod all worked up here, get all the channels turned on. It's already in mode three. And operate. This is already in manual mode that will allow that to be triggered manually. Uh, program one for me is flares, program two is chaff, and then I have program five set as both uh, chaff and flare. We'll go with two for chaff since this is a radar threat. And turn the helmet mounted system on. Should be good to go. All right, so in some of my other videos, I show you ways to locate uh, and fix the location of Sam's, but for the purposes of this one, it's right there. Uh, I've already created a steer point over it, and I'm going to dive down and kind of sneak through this ridge here and drop these weapons on it. All right, here we go, down to the deck. I'm gonna accelerate to about 550 knots. Turn my ECM pod on, there. Once I get mass behind this ridge, the uh, RWR should be quiet. That Tony here is uh, radar tracking me. All right, so up here I've got this low, as you can see by the flight path marker, that means I'm currently too low to release. But I'm gonna try to skim along here between about 100 and 200 feet off the ground. up on I'm gonna pop up so I can get a release. Pickle. Let's see what that does. Got him. And I'll egress over the ridge here. Alright, mission accomplished. Alright, we'll do a bit of a replay from the outside here. Alrighty, this time the plan is to take out that same SAM system using Mark 82 low drag bombs, just your standard 500 pound bombs. I've got six of them on the aircraft. And I'm cruising up here at 31,000 feet. The TOR system really can't get you above the upper 20s. It's somewhere in that range. So if you can get enough altitude, you can actually drop a bomb above it and take it out that way. So I'll just go to air to ground mode here real quick, get set up. I'm gonna do six release pulses, so I'm gonna ripple off all the bombs and I'll go with a spacing of 30 feet. Keep them kind of tight. All right, get the countermeasures and stuff all set up. Turn the ECM pod on. I'm hopeful that the ECM pod will let me get close enough to uh, do this drop in CCIP. CCRP is just not going to be accurate enough to actually hit the thing. 
target is the same as last time. It's an SA-15 down there in the field. All right, so I'm in full afterburner. I'm trying to climb up just a little bit more if I can. And I'm keeping this SAM off to the side. You don't want to fly right over it, so then your nose will obscure it and you won't be, wouldn't be able to see a launch. And your RWR, there's kind of a blind spot under the belly of the aircraft. You wouldn't be able to detect a launch. So I'm not being too scientific about this, but it looks like I'm a, just a couple miles away. This looks about right. I'm going to kind of edge in a little bit closer and then kind of roll over and see if I can't deliver this uh, weapon. All right, here we go. I'm going to leave the afterburner plugged in, try to pick up as much speed as I can because I'll need to zoom back up out of his, uh... oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. That didn't work out too good, but let's see if the bombs hit. Bingo. Bingo. Oh yeah. Well, next time I'll uh, try to be a little higher. Bye. I'm gonna give this another shot with the uh, Mark 82s. I'm in a little bit closer now, still up about 35,000. Gotta remember, uh, Afghanistan, the the ground down there is at about 5,000 above sea level. So really, I'm only about 30,000 feet above it. Got full afterburner, only able to actually burn 18,000 pounds per hour at this altitude and speed. Pretty much right below me, I'm gonna see if this works any better. Get the ECM on. Very high angle here. Pickle. Alright, coming off. Open out shaft. Big explosion down there. Let's see how I did. All right, rolling in. This is a track replay. Definitely too much dive angle here. I think it ideally want to be more like 40 degrees, and I was closer to 60. Lost too much altitude. There go the bombs. Little buddies, do your thing. That looked like a pretty good hit right there. All right, this time I'm gonna try a toss in CCRP mode from low altitude. I'll kind of use the ridge here as cover, uh, run in fast, and see if I can toss bomb some Mark 82s onto this uh, same or tour same system. Actually, I don't feel bad for it. it. Shot me down enough. So just looking at the position of the SAM and the ridge here, I'm gonna try to run in somewhere around the middle of the screen here and see if I can make that happen. like the ridge over here gave some good cover. See what happens. Here we go. Try to pick it up to about 550 knots. Alright. 
press and hold to pick a button. Pulling up. Trying to fly that line really good. There they go. Not the best uh, pull up that I have ever done, but I think we'll get the job done and see what happens. Get down below the ridge. Buddies are flying. Got them all. Nailed it. All right. Cool. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.